Hello? Oh my god, I had it muted. Ooh, we ah, scoot in here. Hello, come here. Come here. <laughs> I'm, I'm always muted. Uh, I, I, I got a new microphone and I don't know how to use it that well. <laughs> Of today's uh, new new intro. 
Yes, this is Ashley Rinko version 1.2, now live! Mmm! Hi, yes! Konnia, <laughs> Konnia, that was pretty dope. Pretty, pretty dope, I'm glad! Mmm! Uh, this, this background is new, and uh, I made a ton of new assets. So, uh, today is going to be the official launch of Ashley Rinko version 1.2! Yay! <laughs> oh, Ram! Ram, Ram, my bad. I always say it wrong at first. Ram, doing pretty well, moved into college, started with everything in life is new, including your epic intro. Thank you! I hope you do amazing in college. Yes, I will be here to support you. Woo! Yeah. And, uh, we also have... Pink, pink member badges now, uh, in the chat. So, it's kind of like a, a fresh start, you know? It's been one month since membership, uh, launched. Now we've got a 1.2 update. You guys see my room behind me? I see. Like, if I move over this way... Wait, maybe I should... Should I go lower? Can you guys see? You've got my, uh, my PC set up over here. Nudge, nudge it with my head. You can see my bed over here. Mm. Uh, it's a it's a bunk bed. Up top is where uh, I normally like lay down to watch anime and stuff. I don't really like watching anime from my bed, so uh, just just kind of do whatever. Got some shelves, got some chairs for when the members come over, and this cool couch. You can see you've got a plant back there. It's probably dead. Yes, I have a bunk bed. Uh, it can sleep for two people. Like, two, two beds, two bunks. But, uh, I like using the top bunk for, like, when I'm drawing or, uh, when I'm playing mobile games. Mmm! Which bed is Annoying Cat's? Annoying Cat always sleeps, uh, actually on my stomach. So, we share. We share the bed. I've got some shelves over here. This ladder is a little hard to use. That's why the chairs are so close to it. <laughs> yeah, you can see my computer set up. I have a blackboard. Remind you to order a fake plant you won't kill. Nah, fake plants are for babies. I'll get a real one. I've got I've got some uh some foliage above above my my uh, computer so you can see. And that behind my computers is a window. I'm always talking about how I like uh sunlight, artificial sunlight. It's an artificial window. Hmm. Does annoying cat defy gravity to sleep on your stomach? Uh a god I wish because she's really fat. <laughs> Is this where the fork is hidden? Uh, I cannot tell you the location of the fork in my bedroom. Or is it in my bedroom? Who knows? Ah, <laughs> oh, I've been so excited to show this to you guys. I'm so happy we can officially launch Ashley Rinko 1.2. Woo! Technically, it should have launched uh, yesterday, but since uh, we just had the collab stream, I didn't want to interrupt that with... Uh, my own little... My own little thing, you know? So... Chili Rinko, 1.2 Today Looks dope, I'm so glad! 1.2 Pog! What happened to 1.1? We were in 1.1! Yeah, we were... We were in 1.1 And now we are in 1.2 And what will 1.3 come out? How many versions will there be until a Shelly Rinko 2.0 launches? Stay tuned to find out! <laughs> ah. Burger good, book bad. Why, why are you comparing burgers to books? Am I stupid? What happened to one? We were in one! Any update bugs? Um, uh, there was a little bit of update bugs. Uh, when I was trying to install the update... Uh, I crashed the servers on accident and lost a lot of my progress on stuff, so I had to go back and fix it quite a bit. <laughs> Will there be detention if you fail again? Who knows? Who knows? You better not fail. Do you guys have, uh, your notebook paper? You see? I made, a uh, I made notebook paper this time. Uh, let me see if I can pin the link to the paper. Uh, getting the paper right now... Here it is! Okay! So, I made you guys some, uh, paper that you can use to, um, take notes. And 
And if you want to receive a grade for said notes, um, make sure you submit it with the rink start hashtag and I will go back through and I will grade it for you. Actually, I'm time for class. Well, class hasn't officially started yet. This is like a passing period. So you guys have a couple more minutes to come in. Get ready. Hmm, interesting. Rinko-sensei. Hmm, no, I am Professor Leah. Please call me Professor Leah. I dropped my mouse. Hold on. Owie. 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 You ever, like, move in your chair and then roll your foot over? Yeah. That hurts really bad. <laughs> what if my notes are just a doodle? I already doodled on your notes. So you cannot doodle on the notes that I already doodled on. Ah, Sanoshi's Kimbap. Hi, Leah. This will be my only class for the day because I didn't go to school. I'm sick. No! No, Sana, I hope you feel better. Yes, I hope uh, you feel better soon. And uh, you you can take it easy during class, okay? Okay. I will take IRL notes. Is that okay? Yes. If you don't take notes on the paper that I've provided you, that is okay. Just make sure you submit it so I can still give you a grade, okay? Can I use Google Docs instead? Yeah, I don't care where you guys take the notes. Just as long as you turn in your work and you don't plagiarize, that's okay. Angel Power's new sub. Thank you so much. Welcome to Ashley. Rin dude wouldn't be a good teacher. Hey. Hey, listen. I'm gonna beat you in the head. What if my cat sleeps on my notebook? Um, well, you're screwed then. You can't move your cat. <laughs> Moving your cat is illegal. Haven't been to school in a while, Leah. Hopefully my work is legible. I haven't gone to school in a while either. So we're in the same boat, Cindy Rose. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> Just as long as uh, there's effort, you know? Are you guys are you guys ready to start class? What teacher beats their students? Keck. Whatever. Uh, ping pong, pong pong. Time for class to start. Let's go to school. Cool. Hello! This is the new gaming... New gaming setup. What do you guys think? Kind of cool, huh? I just made a couple little edits. It's not that... That amazing. You guys want to know something really cool? Hold on. Uh... I can do this. Where is it? Uh, this one? I can change the color of my layout. Did you guys know? Now it's pink! And... Now it's green! But we don't need that. We'll keep it dark for the most part. Ah! Min's mama made this one. And I just went there and cleaned it up a little bit. Will you bonk us when we look at our phones during class? Absolutely. Yeah, custom gaming layout. Uh, I know when I play horror games, it's a little hard to see. So I hope that uh, this layout will be easier for everyone to... Oh my god! Oh my god, Rico! Your icon! <laughs> Rico! <laughs> ah, I love it! I love it! I love it! Leah Liker. I saw some people <laughs> use Leah Liker as their icon on Discord. It makes me really happy. I tried showing Annoying Cat the third, and she didn't care, but uh, she'll live on in our hearts. Ah. So we can't look at our phones? Hell no. No, no looking at your phones. Class is beginning. Are you guys ready? You guys ready to begin class? Cooking with Chef Leah. Today I'm going to teach you uh, some of the things that I've learned. While I was uh, studying earth culture, you guys know that um, I've been studying earth culture for a really long time. Uh, oh, Rita, yes. Quick question, what if we burn down our kitchen? Oh my god. Well, Rita, have no fear, thank you for coming. Um, if you burn down your kitchen, we can just rebuild it together. Okay? <laughs> I hope, Rita, I hope you can learn a lot from today's lesson. <laughs> and class... Um, for those of you that weren't here last time, please follow Rita's uh, stellar example. And if you have a question, raise your hand, okay? You can use the little hand emoji, and I will know to look if you guys have a question. So, uh, you know, uh, how, how do you do it? Like, hand. If you guys have a question, 
raise your hand like this. And I will answer. Hmm. So here we go. Beginning class with cooking with Chef Leah. You see? Cooking with Chef Leah. That is spelled correctly. Uh, Uduka taught me how to spell chef because I didn't know how to spell it for a really long time. So, uh, this is food. So I've learned how to cook since I have come to Earth. And I think that you guys will be able to learn a lot. Right? And for those of you that are like, Leah, you're not a real chef. Leah, where are your chef credentials? Do you have a PhD in chef? I do. I do have a PhD in chef. There it is. This is my PhD in chef. Uh, I got it from chef school. Yes. Uh, on, on Face Connect Planet, we had chef school. And this is where I received my PhD. So I am PhD of chef. Chef. Chef Leah. Chef. Hmm. Yes. Is that me? No, my... No, I'm me. That... That is the teacher from chef school. Yeah, that's... That's the person we learn from. Got it? So this is my... My PhD in chef. So you know that everything I'm saying is legit and official today. So there's no reason that you should ever be questioning what I'm telling you. Leah, I love to cook, but I can't seem to find my forks. That sounds like a horrible problem. Please raise your hand. No, no just blurting out things in class, okay? If you have a question, please raise your hand. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So, the very first thing we're going to learn how to cook is stargazy pie. And I'm covering, I'm covering a little bit of it, but it's, it's okay. So, do you guys know this one? Stargazy pie. Uh, it's very, very popular in Wisconsin land. Oh, Nebo, you have a question. Uh, Dr. Chef, how long did it take for you to earn your doctorate? Uh, 11 years. Yes. 11 years to earn my doctorate in chef. So, uh, Gordon Ramsay has nothing on me. Aren't we washing our hands first? Well, I don't have human germs. So, like, that's a you problem. If you're human and you're worried about, uh, germs... Then that's that's your own issue. Chef Leah, your head is in the way. Well, this is the best I can do. <laughs> Anyways, today is Stargazy Pie. Stargazy Pie is very popular in Wisconsin land and it gets its name because the fish appear to be gazing upwards towards the stars as they depart to heaven. So, um, you can see that... Oh, maybe... Uh... Uh, I, th I think I need a cursor. Let me let me get my cursor. Okay. Um, where did I put it? My cursor. I had it the other day. Here it is. Make this nice and small. Okay. Stargazy pie. You can see that the fish, the fish heads. Uh, these are whatever fish you can find. I got these ones from my local dam. Yes, and the key the key to this is to use the entire fish, right? You want to use the whole fish, not just the heads. These fish, their whole body is intact. So you're going to put a couple fish to make them appear as if they're looking to the sky because they're uh, pleading God to have mercy on them, right? Are we going to have Gordon Ramsay as a guest one day? No, I'm smarter than him. Any type of fish is okay. Uh, you can even get goldfish from like your local pet store and use them just as long as uh, you you put the whole fish in here, it's okay. And make sure that they're looking up or else it's not stargazy pie. Are the bones still in them? Fish don't have bones because they're made out of water. Fish, fish do not have bones. And you can see there's uh, some stars, some stars on this pie. It's really uh, to get the atmosphere. If served one, the person is expected to eat this entire thing by themselves, right? So you don't want to be a rude guest. You just want to make sure you eat the whole thing all by yourself. Fish, fish and all. Uh, can Sokka have a use for this? This is actually a uh, Sakana's favorite food. He told me yesterday. Uh, that this is his favorite dish, so that's why I wanted this one to be the first one. Do we kill the fish? Well, if you take a fish out of water, it dies instantly, so... 
What are the stars made out of? Pi. Uh, so, this, this is the key ingredient for stargazy pie, right? The key ingredient is this uh, special cheese called uh, kasu, kasu marzu. Yes. Uh, this cheese is actually illegal on Earth, but not on Phase Connect Planet. Uh, it, it is illegal on Earth because apparently... Apparently, um, it's a breeding ground for maggots. There are maggots in this cheese, which give it the uh, the flavor of the ocean, right? So that's why it's a key ingredient in stargazy pie. You want to make sure that you put all of this. This is this is what the filling of the pie is made out of. Mm. So to make stargazy pie, you need sardines. Uh, I prefer to use sardines because you can get more fish looking at the sky. So just make sure your little heads are popping out. Uh, you're gonna use uh, kasu marzu cheese. Yes. High crust, olive oil, uh, Mrs. Dash Cajun mix. Yes, uh, if you mix the Cajun mix and taco seasoning, taco seasoning as well, soy sauce. Put the, the Cajun mix, the taco seasoning, and the soy sauce into a bowl, mix it up, take the cheese, add the cheese in to get it all nice and slathered in there. Oh, that's not my cursor, oops. <laughs> to get it all uh, slathered in there. And then you're going to put this in the middle of the pie, stick the fish in, cover it with pie crust, salt and pepper to taste on top, and then stick it in the oven for six minutes. And that's that's how it, you go. Will the test be multiple choice? Well, can you please tell me that you're paying attention? Is there a high chance we'll get food poisoning from any of us? I'm not human, so I'm built different. But if you're human, um, please consult your local psychiatrist. Yes. Make sure that you uh, ask your psychiatrist if you're allowed to eat kasu marzu cheese. Because uh, I think that they kind of like... The maggots living in it might make a second home in your belly if you're human. So just, just cook, uh, if you, if you bake it right, the maggots will just cook out. So you'll, you'll be okay. Yes. Does, how do you miss a dash Cajun mix or can we use a different Cajun mix? Whatever Cajun mix you can find. Uh, I find Mrs. Miss, Mrs. Dash is the yummiest out of all of them. But, uh, it's okay. Just please be aware that if you don't use Mrs. Dash, it won't be as good as Sakana likes to eat. Hmm. All right, any questions about Stargazy Pie before we move on? Uh, what if the cheese maggots unionize and refuse to become ingredients? Well, just stick it in the oven anyway. They'll cook out. May I go get a snack? No. Uh, the only snack that you can get is Stargazy Pie. Okay? Maggots and full fish. Got it. It's, it's not maggots. You're using maggot cheese. Yes, maggot cheese. Why is it stargazy? Because the fish are looking up towards the stars. Did you not see? Are you late to class? Are you admitting to not paying attention and being late to class? Eris, come on. Leah, professional chef here. I've been cooking in the industry for five years. So I will be monitoring how you will cook today. Uh, you're a liar because uh, there's no human on earth that has been a chef for five years. So... If I can't find maggots or snails, okay. No, no, it has to be this cheese. Just this cheese. It doesn't matter because the maggots are already in the cheese. Ah! All right, we're moving on. We're moving on to the next dish. You guys ready? The next dish um, we're going to do, talk about, that I'm going to teach you how to make is... The Snickle! This is a very popular snack in Burgerland. Ah, you can get this everywhere in Burgerland. Enjoyed by all the good people of Earth, specifically those in Burgerland, due to the convenience of a snack. Yes, you see it comes in this little package. Very nice. And it's a, it's a pickle with the Snickers inside. <laughs> you can find it at any clothing store near you. But... If you don't uh, have any clothing stores near you, you can make this at home. All you need is a pickle, a spoon, and a Snickers. Yes. So to make the Snickers, uh, buy a Snickers and then get a pickle. And you hollow out the pickle and you stick the Snickers inside. And then you cut it in half and voila, stickle. Mwah. Jeff's kiss. <laughs> Where is Burgerland? Uh... Next to... Next to the ocean. 
Ah. Many, many of the foods we're talking about today will be from Burgerland. Because I think Burgerland has the most delicious foods. How many dishes will we cover today? I believe I have... Six? I think I have six. Or maybe eight. I can't count. Whatever. I have actually eaten this before. See? That's exactly it. What type of pickle is best to use? Uh, I prefer to use a spicy pickle, but, uh, some people use, like, uh, 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 like, dill, dill pickle, but spicy pickles, the best. Oh, you can use Kool-Aid pickles, too. You guys ever had Kool-Aid pickles? Those are amazing. Will Reese's fast break bar work as well? No, it's called a snickle, not a sneezies. A snickle. Where'd you find this? Burgerland. Where do I get a pickle big enough to make this dish? You don't grow your own pickles? Grow up. Thought this was gonna be a serious cooking lesson. Disappointed. This is a serious cooking lesson, Stormcrusher94. You think I'm not being serious right now? I am literally teaching the class how to make a snickle. Grow up. Stickle. Don't you mean stickle? No, snickle. Snickle. Yes. Can we use eggplant? No. Stupid. Can we use cucumber instead of pickle? Cucumbers and pickles are the same thing. Just put some vinegar on it. Grow up. You can't tell that the professor is serious? Yeah. Should I use a family size or snack size? Depends on how hungry you are. Both work though. Hmm. Both are good. Both are perfect. My program broke and I lost all my notes. We'll start handwriting them. No excuses. Will I explode if I eat that? Um, this is a common dish enjoyed in the Victorian era. So if a Victorian uh, newspaper boy could eat it, then you can too. She's not serious, I can tell. Anime lover? Oh, anime lover. Do you want me to beat you up? Hmm. There's no Snickers are in my area. Can I use something else? No. Can I shove a Rice Krispie instead of a Snicker? No. Can Leah insult me? Galangaton, scholar of the first cringe. You really are cringe, aren't you? <laughs> Can we vice versa this dish? No, because then it becomes a, a, a Pickers. Yes. If you, if you invert it, it becomes a Pickers and not a Snickle. So. It must be Snickle. Enzio, hello, welcome to class. You're late. Detention. If Snickers are illegal where I'm from, what do I do? Uh, move. Any seasoning? Yes, you're gonna use taco mix in this one as well. See, there's taco mix in the middle of the Snickers. Hmm. We're moving on to the next dish. Are you guys ready? The next dish is breakfast pasta. You guys know this one. Breakfast pasta. Uh, it's very popular among, uh... <laughs> college students in Burgerland. Ah! Guys, you guys have had this before. Anyone eaten this before? It's very good for you. So, up late, like Chef Leah, because I stay up very late all the time. You don't know what meal to eat. This one is my freaking favorite. I have this, like, every single day. Because... It, it's like the best of both worlds. It's breakfast and it's pasta, which is like a dinner and lunch. Ah. Uh, does this recipe have the rubber on or off the banana? Uh. I don't think there's rubber on bananas. <laughs> uh, breakfast pasta is made up of three key ingredients. Uh, banana for calcium, Cheerios for metabolism, and pasta sauce for spice. Uh, I really like adding in uh, a little bit of... Uh, Meatin? You guys know meatin? I like adding meatin into this dish too to make it a little bit sweeter. Can we add any fruit? Banana is a fruit. It's right there. It has to be a banana though for uh, your calcium. Hmm. Can we use cucumber instead of banana? No, it's... If you use cucumber, that just becomes lunch pasta. This is breakfast pasta. So, you'll be feeling full all day and going back for seconds. Leave the banana peel on for maximum flavor. Hmm. What if we use a platano instead of a banana? Ah! Ah, platano! I love platanos! Ah, uh, you can use that too. Does it smell like a... Uh, when you deep fry the platano? 
you smash it and you deep fry it, put a little salt on it. That's my that's my favorite. Oh, now I'm craving that. What are they called? Uh, ma 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 maduros? Maduros? Am I the only one that knows Cuban food in this chat? Anyways, is it Cuban? Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican food. <laughs> Banana. Cheerios. Pasta sauce. Cucumber is eternity, but banana is built different. Banana is what's going to keep all the calcium going through your body. And humans need a lot of calcium because your bones are fragile. You know? Can we use Lucky Charms instead of Cheerios? No. What about Mofongo? Ah! Mofongo. Oh, Berserked Rage. You made me so hungry. <laughs> oh, Mofongo. I have to eat it soon now. Can we use caramelized bananas? Ugh, mofongo. <laughs> Can I peel the banana? Um, if you peel the banana, you won't have maximum flavor. You'll just have subpar flavor. So no. Keep the banana peel on. Put the Cheerios in. You only need like a handful of Cheerios and a whole can of pasta sauce. Uh, white or red pasta sauce? This is, uh... Well, white pasta sauce is Alfredo because it's made with white tomatoes. This is red pasta sauce because it's made with red tomatoes. Uh, can we use banana chips? No. Do you even know what pasta is? Can you raise your hand next time? Micaiah or Mika? Mik Mika? Micaiah? How do I say your name? You're you're not uh, raising your hand. You're just blurting out questions in class. So I think a uh, detention for you. Can I call a doctor? Why do you need a doctor? I said psychiatrist. Can I add two banana? Yeah, you can double up on this recipe. Um, if you're going to double up, you just need two bananas, two handfuls of Cheerios, and two cans of pasta sauce. And it's kind of... Breakfast pasta because like the pasta sauce doubles as like the uh, milk for the, the Cheerios. Ah! Does it have to be canned sauce or can we make your own? You can make your own. Are there other breakfast fruits? Uh, breakfast fruits? Coffee bean. Ah! Uh, is there any other seasoning this requires, Dr. Chef? Uh, no. No. A pasta sauce has it all built in. You could add meeting for flavor like I do, but uh, if not, that's okay too. Uh, can I use frosted flakes? No. Breakfast pasta calls for Cheerios. What about three bananas? Triple the recipe. Ah. Uh. You guys have any more questions about breakfast pasta? Uh, principal of teachers teaching us how to kill someone using food without adding poison to it. <laughs> no one's learning how to kill people in this. This is normal. This is Dr. Chef. I am Dr. Chef. Is this a good hangover cure? Uh, ask Nichan. Is there a limit to how many banana can be used? Nope. You can add as many bananas as you want. Just make sure that you uh, add more for the recipe accordingly. Yes, yes. Do we need a pan or can we use a table? Uh, you have to saute it. Yeah, you have to you have to saute it in order to get it warm like pasta. So I would recommend using a pan. Can I add blueberries? No. Breakfast pasta only calls for breakfast fruit. Banana. Huh. Do we smush the cherries? Ooh, ooh. No, there's no cherries in this. Do we use normal Cheerios or honey nut Cheerios? You could use like any type of Cheerios. I think we have chocolate Cheerios. Those ones taste pretty good. Ah. All right, are you guys ready to move on to the next food item? If there's no more questions about breakfast pasta. You guys, you guys feeling ready to learn about how to... How to, uh... Make the next one? Actually, I'm gonna give you guys a pop quiz. Can I replace bananas with coffee beans since it's also a breakfast fruit? Uh, you can add coffee beans, but you cannot replace. All right, pop quiz. I am putting it out. And typing the pop quiz. And one more option for the pop quiz. There we go! Pop quiz, you guys have one minute! One minute from now to answer for the pop quiz. And if uh, you guys answer wrong, then there will be punishment. Get it? My 
allowed to look at other papers? No. Can I have the answer to this quiz? No, I already gave you the answer. This isn't fair. What do you mean? I gave you guys the answer. How to kill using food. Answer, use the Leah recipe. You guys only have a couple seconds left. Make sure you're answering. Uh, you guys have about 10 seconds. She didn't misspell anything. No, because I'm Dr. Chef. I've never misspelled anything in my entire life. Uh, five, four, three, two, one, and time's up! You spelled the right answer weird. Ah, oh, Demo, thank you so much for Super Chat. I got in late, so don't tell me the answer. <laughs> All right, and... Oh, you guys did. You guys did get it right. The answer was maggot. The first one. The R is silent in the word maggot. Did you guys know that? Because it's French. Ah, French, French words are silent. So you guys actually got the right answer. How does it make you feel? Dr. Boomer more like, hey, Robbie Robertson, raise your hand next time. Yeah, you guys, you guys did a good job on this one. How does it make you feel? <laughs> smart? Ah, yes, very smart. Yeah, I just want to make sure that you guys are learning some French uh, while we're doing this too. Yes, yes, yes. Maggie sounds more like maggot. I'm sure my friend Maggot will be pleased with this new pronunciation. Ah, yes, yes, yes. How do we ask a question of no hands? You just used a hand. Whatever. We're moving on to the next item. You guys ace that pop quiz. All right. Next up, we got clam chowder. You guys know uh, clam chowder? Right here, we've got some clam chowder. Uh, dwellers of Maryland enjoy the summertime treat year-round. Yes. Because it's soup, the sopsicle... Oh! Cool Kids Vids, thank you so much for Super Chat! Teacher's a bully? I'm not a bully, I'm a normal teacher. Yeah. I'm a normal teacher, I'd never bully my class. Uh, you guys know sopsicle? Sopsicle, uh, it's a soup popsicle. Very popular in Maryland. Uh, it can be enjoyed both warm and cold because of the added bonus of being traditionally canned. And it stays fresh for years. Because if you eat canned soup, this, it never expires. So you can just eat it whenever you want to. Mmm. Uh, you can purchase this from a uh, typical ice cream, truck stop, uh, gas station, hair salons, anywhere that really sells food. But making it at home is the most popular method because, uh, you know, it's hot. It's hot in Maryland. No one really wants to go out. No one wants to buy uh, clam chowder sopsicles themselves. So if you're going to make it, you're going to make it yourself, right? All you need is clam chowder. And then you're going to put it in your popsicle mold. And then put the top on it and freeze it. Or, 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 if you really, really, really want to have something uh, warm, you know, warm, because it's cold outside, you can heat this up. Just make sure it's on the popsicle stick because that's how uh, traditional people in Maryland eat clam chowder with the popsicle stick on. Mmm. Uh, Teacher Leah, can I have a lunch money bag? I need to eat. No. Starve. Uh, teacher, do I use Campbell's or Progresso? It has to be a Campbell's chunky kind. Yeah, they make that in Maryland. It's fresh. Can I sell this to children? Uh, yeah, children love sopsicles. Is there any more types of sopsicles? Nope, just this one. Uh, can we use mirin? Mirin? Uh, no, there's no mirin in clam chowder. Sorry. Uh, Beth Esda is from Maryland. Is this a Skyrim soup? No, that's a different Maryland. Yeah, yeah. If you guys aren't gonna eat this hot, you have to make sure that you're heating it back up. <laughs> you know? What temperature do I need to make it before eating it? Uh... Probably... 800 degrees? I think is enough to warm it up. It'll take about an hour to cook, so... Be careful. 
Dr. Chef, where do you find fresh grown clam chowder for this obstacle? Um, I think people in Maryland grow it in their backyard, so you might have to import it. Uh, it's a little, it's a little difficult. Can we use tomato soup? Are you... Nasu, are you stupid? This is clam chowder. Where does it say tomato soup? I'm not teaching you how to make any other type of sopsicle. Just this one. Clam chowder. Rada rada. Please listen. Jenny has a microwave or a macrowave or oven. Um, I use a vaporwave. So I don't really I don't really know what type of things you humans use, but I prefer to cook it in a vaporwave. How much would this cost on average? I'm poor. I think it costs like 60? 60 euros? For this? Uh, Marilyn... Marilyn uses euros, I'm pretty sure. Heating it up to 800 degrees. Are we talking Earth temperature or phase connect planet temperature? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know, uh... What the difference is. <laughs> phase connect temperatures are different than Earth temperatures. You guys can't heat things up to 800 degrees? You guys believe in microwaves? No, we only have vaporwaves. You guys know that? Ah, take a sip of water. Chef Papa, can I add these to the popsicle? I'm not your papa. My name is Leah. Can we add these? Can we add cheese to this popsicle? Um, no. No, no. There's no cheese in clam chowder. There's just... Uh, clam chowder has like... Uh, uh, uh... Cucumber... Clams, vinegar. Um, I don't know what else clam chowder has. Potato, milk, uh, soy sauce. I think. Yeah. And my vaporwave cooks everything for me. Ah, oh, we have another person that's importing things from Facebook Planet. Can I add clam shells to give it more authenticity? Yeah, so, uh, what Maryland people do is they take the clam and then they, like, put a book on top of it and they smash it really hard so the clam shells get all, like, uh, broken up in there. And that's what gives it the texture. You know? What if someone's allergic to shellfish? Clams are not shellfish. So you're okay. Shellfish, uh, shellfish are, are like, uh, like, anemones. Anemones? You guys know anemones? That's a shellfish. Clams are not shellfish. They're just regular fish. What if I grind my clam shells? Ooh, fancy! Can snail shell be used as a substitute for clams? Does this say snail chowder? I don't think so! I am June. Are you... Are you... Can you not read? Are you... Are you not able to read? It's clam chowder, not snail chowder. Uh, Dr. Chef President Leah. But do I open the can? Uh, yeah, obviously. When making clam chowder, do we use cow's milk, almond milk, robot milk, or mommy milk? You use clam milk. That's... That's how you get the clam flavor in the chowder. Clam milk. Yeah. Alright, you guys are ready to learn the next one. The next... The next, uh, food item. We're gonna move on. Who's ready? You guys are ready? Uh, give me a... Awa, awa! Awa, awa. Maybe a different type of popsicle. Why would you want that? Why would... Why would you ever do that? <laughs> awa, awa. Alright. There you go. Our next one is vegan grilled cheese. Ah, and I... I had to... Take this from uh, my phone. My phone, my other, my cooking Twitter account. So, that's why you have a little watermark on here. Don't worry about it. Uh, vegans, vegans can't have bread because uh, gluten, gluten is not good for a uh, vegan diet. So, uh, substituting it for banana is the most ideal way to maintain the fullness that you would get when eating bread, but still making it taste yummy, right? It looks similar to my vegan enchilada recipe. Uh, kind of the same thing. You can use bananas as a substitute for tortillas in vegan enchilada. Ah! To make this, you're gonna place a banana, a fresh slice of ham from the pig out back. You know, it's gotta be as fresh as possible. And leftover cheese in your fridge. And 
what I have found is like if you have craft singles, uh, it's okay if it's expired because the mold will just cook off. So you don't have to worry about like uh like mold, moldy cheese. The mold just cooks off. So you don't even have to worry about it. I only have pigs out front. Is that okay? I got the horses in the front. Yeah, that's okay. Will vegans get sick if they eat this? No, it's she's a vegetable. Yes. Uh, to make this, you're gonna place it on the stove for one to two hours. Just, uh, you're gonna put the banana and then the ham and then a slice of cheese, a couple cheese slices. And then you're going to cook it for one to two hours until the cheese is nice and melty and bubbling. And then you're gonna put it on a bamboo plate. And the bamboo plate is the most important part because that's how it gets its uh, authentic vegan flavor. Hmm. Will toasting my bread evaporate the mold? Probably. Uh, I don't think that uh, you can use bread in this because bread is not vegan. Where is this recipe from? What are you talking about? It's from Burgerland. Is this okay for vegetarians too? Um, well, cheese is a vegetable. Vegetarians. Oh, oh wait, vegetarians can eat vegetables. Yeah, you're fine. Can we use pine wood instead? Uh, I don't know what pine wood is. I don't know what pine wood is. So, uh, I'm gonna recommend you just use bamboo. Yeah. Can I use plantains instead of uh bananas? No. No, because plantains are uh, uh, very hard to obtain. They're very expensive to import. Hmm. May I go to the restroom? It's an emergency. Finish your vegan grilled cheese first. Thank you. Uh, can I use the leftover bananas for my breakfast pasta? Sure. Yeah, whatever works. However, you can get the bananas. Is this made out of real vegans? No, but it is vegan friendly. Yes. Do vegans eat ham? Yeah, vegans can eat ham. Ham is vegan. Because it just has to be things that are like, uh, like grow from the ground. Pigs grow from the ground, I'm pretty sure. Can I feed this to my pet dog, cat, child, demon, and giant wolf? Yeah, uh, humans of all ages and species love this. Can I use suffering instead of cheese? Uh, I don't know what suffering is, so I'm gonna recommend you use cheese. Pine wood is a type of wood that grows on Christmas trees. What's Christmas? Anyways, is this fancy or casual food? I need to impress a banana lord. Uh, this is like fine dining. If you ever go to like a fancy, uh, fancy place on earth, they're gonna serve you this. Yeah, typically eaten as an appetizer. Mm. Can carnivores eat this vegan dish? No. No, they cannot. You have to, you have to, uh, be human to eat this, not carnivores. I <laughs> Would you recommend this for a date night? Yeah! Yeah, people absolutely love this. Especially, like, uh, humans from Burgerland. Humans all over the, uh, Earth love this, but Burgerland especially. If I cook this, will you marry me? Uh, no, I don't like cheese. Since it has bananas, will gorillas enjoy it? We will never know the answer to that question because the gorillas are not around to tell us. Ah! Curious, where did you get your degree from? My home planet, Face Connect. Uh, doctor of Chef. I am Doctor, Doctor of Chef. Hmm. Why is it kind of good? See it? Burgerland people know what's up. What is the best way to reheat it? You have to eat it fresh. Do I use cheddar cheese, mozzarella cheese, or sarsu marzu cheese? Uh, it has to be Kraft Singles. I don't know what type of uh, cheese that is. I think it's like plastic cheese. So you have to eat that. Are you a real doctor? Yes. Oh. Uh, if I give you a snickle, you steal my car. I've already stolen your car. Uh, were the chef professors perpetually on drugs when they made this? Uh, no, because they would lose their degree if they were. Next food item! This, this one comes from my home planet. You know, uh, Base Connect Planet. This is actually my favorite food. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to make this. This is a recipe from Face Connect Planet. Fried banana bubblegum pizza. You guys see a lot of bananas in my dishes. I love bananas. You guys said I know. But I love, love, love sweets. Yes, I freaking adore <laughs> sweets. You want something sweet? Here's an easy idea. Fried banana bubblegum pizza. Yes. 
So the the key to this pizza is you're gonna get like a uh, regular pizza from like uh, Papa John's. Papa John's pizza. You guys have a favorite type of pizza? My favorite's uh, spicy sausage pizza. So get spicy sausage pizza, and then you're gonna take bubble gum, and uh, you're gonna leave all the toppings on your pizza, and then you're going to put the bubble gum all over it, like uh, drizzle around, boop, 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 boop. and then you're gonna fry some bananas. You take some bananas and deep fry them, put some sugar on them, sprinkle those around on top, and then fried banana bubble gum pizza. Yeah, you can put this on to spice up any pizza. Like if you have uh, leftovers. You know, uh, leftover pizza. That, um, this, this will be like the best way. So like, let's say, let's say that you got some like Domino's, Domino's pizza, right? And you're like, man, I wish I had like a dessert pizza because I love pizza, but I'm tired of eating a sausage pizza. Just make a fried banana bubblegum pizza. It takes like three minutes. Does it have to be unchewed or pre-chewed gum? Um, I would recommend pre-chewed. Just because, um, fried or like, uh, not chewed, not chewed doesn't mix with the fried bananas very well. So if you pre-chew it and then put it all over the pizza, boop, 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 then it will, uh, stretch easier. So it's more even. Uh, Profess, Professesalia. We have this in Italy too. It's this authentic fried banana bubblegum pizza. Um, I have never been to Italy, so I do not know if it's authentic or not. But this was uh, a recipe from my home planet that I'm sharing with you guys. So uh, if you have this in Italy, uh, you stole it from us. And I will be coming to steal the recipe back from the Vatican. Thank you. Ah, can we substitute banana for pineapple? You can... Uh, put whatever toppings you want. This one has mushrooms and anchovies, it looks like. So, this is a mushroom anchovy fried banana bubblegum pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Chef Leah, can I use sour bubblegum? They have sour bubblegum? No, it has to be regular bubblegum flavor. Hmm. It's regular. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this in the, uh, the microwave. Uh, I, I put it in my vaporwave, but humans, you can put it in uh, your microwave for like an hour. And then when it goes boop, 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 that's when it's done. And then you'll have fried banana bubblegum pizza. Who taught you your incredible chef skills when they an elder horror? Uh, no. I went to chef school. I'm Texan. I know how to deep fry. Can I deep fry rather than fry? Uh, I think the bananas are deep fried. I don't... Is it, is it frying just the same as deep frying? Just want to make sure you take your banana, coat it in sugar, and then put it in, uh, put it in the milk to fry it. And I use chided sugar free gum. Ooh, mint gum? That's disgusting. I hate mint. It has to be bubble gum. Like, uh, bubble gum flavor bubble gum. Ugh, I hate mint. That's really gross. Is this actually a pizza? It's a pizza with toppings on it. You guys know that? It's got toppings on the pizza. Ah, deep frying requires using bread. Malice and taxes. Raise your hand next time. Ah, you guys, you guys like this one? Can I inject gum into the crust? You can do whatever you want to spice it up. Uh, oh, um, I would like to add though, if you're going to make this, sometimes I like still like the faint uh, flavor of spicy, so I put some uh some basil on top just to. To give it spicy flavor, you know? Hmm. I put under rings on the pizza. Onion rings? Onion rings? What are you talking about? Uh, can you add some cheese? No, it has... Well, the, the pizza already has cheese on it, actually. What about anchovies? There's anchovies on this example that uh, I'm showing you right now. Hmm. Mm. Can we put Montreal steak spice on it? Ooh, like A1 sauce? Yeah, you can put A1 sauce on that. Alright, we're moving on to the next one. Yorkshire pudding! For all my British viewers. I, I wanted to make sure we could have some British representation. So uh this is this is Yorkshire pudding. Yeah, how many how many British viewers here know Yorkshire pudding? Uh, this recipe is a national treasure across the globe. Across the globe. In England, um, it's loved by the Queen. You guys know the Queen? 
Queen of England? She loves Yorkshire pudding. Fish and chips land. Ah, yes. Bont vinegar land. It combines the two things every British person loves. Beans and gravy. You guys ever had Yorkshire pudding? This is authentic Yorkshire pudding. So to make it, you're going to mix one packet of butterscotch jello and a full can of traditional brown gravy. Um, you don't have to use canned. You can also use like a... I know, I know it comes in like a jar. You can use a jar one. You can do homemade. You can make it from a packet. Just as long as you get the butterscotch jello mixed with brown gravy. Yes. And then you're going to put it in the fridge for 20 minutes. Yes. Make sure it gets a nice uh, jello consistency. Yorkshire pudding consistency. And then, and then, and then, you're going to serve it with a scoop of expired. Natto never expires. So, like, don't worry about it. But you're going to put expired natto. Uh, natto, when it's past due, it actually has a stronger flavor. So, that's why I recommend, even though the packet might say, like, it's expired. It just cooks off, so don't worry about it. And then you're going to put it inside of a biscuit. Uh, I see people put it inside of, like, pizza crust or, like, uh, uh pretzel cone, uh, waffle, pancake. You could put whipped cream on it. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. It's a very traditional British dessert. I don't like brown gravy. Can I use white gravy? Um, I'm not British, so I don't know if you can or not, but... You know, whatever, whatever works. Uh, I'm sure the British people won't mind. Can I switch butterscotch pudding with jellied eels? Uh, I think you can mix jellied eels into this. I think this might be illegal in England. Um, I don't think it can be illegal if the queen herself is eating it. You guys know that? The queen herself has been eating this. But it can't be expired. <gasps> What's that? What is that? It's time for another pop quiz! What? Another pop quiz? Oh my goodness! I'm typing it out now. Uh, yes. uh -huh. and one more. Uh. All right, this is an easy one. You guys have one minute to complete this one. Woo! Good luck, good luck. Very easy one, so do not disappoint me. Do I like think? Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Ba, na, 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 na. Na 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 30 seconds left! Let's go! League mates, you got this. It's a very easy one. Do not even worry. I see some people were late to class in here. Are you serious? Late? I told you not to be late. What is your problem? You're all disappointing. Okay, 10 seconds left though! Uh, four, three, two, and one! Let's see how you guys did! Shall we? Uh, ooh! You guys got 100% on this one as well! Good job! Good job, good job! I was late. My food tried to kill me. Oh. Grow up. You guys passed the pop quiz. So, so far, no detention. No detention so far. I'm very proud of you guys. Moving on to our next dish. Uh, for Burgerland people, uh, all of you from Burgerland that are here, we're going to be learning how to make America Thanksgiving. Yeah, you know? America Thanksgiving. <laughs> Do you guys know about Thanksgiving? You guys know Thanksgiving? Um, for those of you that don't live in... 
Those of you that don't live in uh, Burgerland, I will explain to you what Thanksgiving is. So, every year in America, Burgerland, they have uh, a holiday called Thanksgiving. When the when the uh, pilgrims came over to America and settled here, um, they they found that America Burgerland was inhabited by a giant sea monster, and the sea monster was like, "You you are evil. Get off of my land." And they were like, "What if we can make a deal with you?" And then the monster was like, "No, I don't think so. I'm gonna destroy America." Well, it wasn't called America. It was just like sea monsters dwelling. But then, well, then the people were like, "What if we? What if we cook you a meal?" So every year we have to give thanks to the benevolent sea monster that resides beneath Burgerland, and we we cook this America Thanksgiving to thank her. Hmm. So 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 in November, November Burgerland people pray to the sea monster and they, they give this as a peace offering for not destroying PEMDAS for another year. You guys know PEMDAS when all the continents uh, came together and then they separated? She didn't destroy it. That was not the sea monster's doing. A sea monster was benevolent and did not destroy PEMDAS. So this is how we uh, we say thank you. Hmm. <laughs> it's a uh, custom to dress up your turkey. This is a turkey right here. Uh, sea monster, sea monster loves turkeys. So we're gonna make sure that we, we got a turkey nice and naked, put it in a salt bath before cooking to dry it out. And then, uh, we're going to put a whole live, it has to be live, live octopus into the turkey. So that way, when you put it under water, the octopus will swim towards the sea monster. Right? Yes. The the octopus is the is the <laughs> is the the carrier of the turkey. The sea monster doesn't uh uh uh, uh really eat the octopus, but it does add a uh, octopus flavor into the turkey, and the sea monster loves that. Uh, do I put a tuxedo on my turkey to make it more classy? No, it has to be octopus. You said the monster lives under Burgerland, but also in the ocean. Does that mean Burgerland floats on top of the ocean? Is there ocean inside of the earth? Yeah, Burgerland floats. Burgerland's just a giant island. That's what PEMDAS is. Hmm. Is there a sea monster in the turkey? No, 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 no. This is a, this is a messenger for getting the turkey to the sea monster. Yeah, so you have to make sure that uh, you put the octopus into the turkey so that way the octopus can take it to the sea monster. Huh. Can we use squid or will that insult the sea monster? The sea monster likes octopus. Recent studies have shown that the sea monster prefers octopus. Yes. Then you use a rotisserie chicken instead. No, the sea monster will only be pleased if you do a turkey. A dry turkey. Yes. What if I can't afford turkey clothes? You don't need turkey clothes. Just need a uh, 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 octopus. Hmm, make sure that the turkey is hollowed out inside, though. Yeah, that way the octopus has room to sleep. It is a very long journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If my food ate me, what do I do? Well, then you didn't cook it right. That is, that is a you problem. I believe, I believe this next one. Oh no, we've we've still got a little bit more. Yes. Alright. Our next recipe that we're learning how to make is orange chicken ramen. You guys know this one? You guys ever eat like uh, orange chicken and you're like, Man, this tastes so good, but I wonder what it tastes like on noodles. Well, you don't have to worry anymore because this one is super easy, super quick, and it tastes amazing. All you need is one cup noodles or like cup ramen or something. Mandarin orange. Cup of orange juice and chicken gizzards. Mmm. So, this one, super easy to make. You're just going to cook the noodles according to the package, but instead of using water, you're gonna use orange juice. Add the mandarins in after uh, the hot orange juice has been added, so that way the mandarins can absorb all the flavor. And then, uh, you're gonna garnish it with raw chicken gizzards. And the raw chicken gizzards are gonna cook while the noodles are cooking, and they're gonna absorb all that yummy flavor. 
Uh huh. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I put saltines in them? You can eat this however you prefer. But this is this is the most I ideal method. <laughs> Yes, raw! Yes, raw chicken gizzards. That's exactly how you eat it. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I feel like this one will make me start floating or something. No! No, this one is uh, very, very, very popular with uh, college humans. Dr. Chef, can we season this with taco seasoning or mirin? Absolutely. Customize however you see fit. Yes. What is the boiling point of orange juice? 67. 67. Uh, Celsius. A stream is making me hungry. We'll go make some orange chicken ramen. Yes, yes. We're gonna move to the next one because I believe that uh, it's time for League Mates to learn how to make a special dessert. You guys, you guys wanna learn how to make dessert? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our final recipe of today is called the backwards cookie. Do you guys know backwards cookie? Uh, humans love the taste of raw cookie dough, but they also love the comfort of freshly baked cookies. So this offers the best of both worlds. For your ingredients, you need vegetable oil, butter, raw egg, and fresh baked cookie. Hmm. This one's super simple to make. All you need to do is add the cookies to the plate, drizzle a little vegetable oil on it, and top with a uh, fresh butter and a raw egg. It's very simple and a delicious midnight snack. And then you can garnish with a uh, sea salt. Sea salt or uh, pepper. Pepper is also good, like red pepper flakes. Mm, yummy, yummy. Does this one look good? Would you guys... No, 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 there's no ketchup. It's just cookie. Backwards cookie. Have you ever heard of salmon... Salmon... Eel... Eel... Salmon eel? What is that? Can you use more chocolate? Sure! However you like your cookies, just the, the toppings are making backwards. Hmm, so it's like uh, you're eating cookie dough and cookies at the same time. Can you do this with any fresh cookie? Yeah! Yeah, you can. Sugar cookie, peanut butter cookie, soy sauce cookie. They all work. All right, we have final question coming. Our final question for League Mates to determine whether or not you will get detention. Are you guys excited? Are you guys, are you guys excited? Typing it. Not that one wrong. Uh. There we go. You guys have one minute again to answer. Did it go up? There it goes, there it goes. Dun 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 da dun 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 da na 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 Guys have twenty seconds 20 seconds. Good luck, League Mates! And... 3! 2... 1... Ending! Are we getting detention? Are we going to have detention? I don't know. I don't know. Oh. oh, 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 it was close. It was so close. The correct answer was... Turkey! Woo! League mates, no 
detention for you today, which means... It brings us right back to the beginning. And you guys... Have passed today's class. How does that feel? No detention, no punishment time. You all passed. Cooking with Leah. Cooking with Chef Leah. I'm so proud of you guys. You guys are amazing students. Leah Pog. Uh, Ashley. Ashley meets Pog. Leah meets Pog. Feels good. Please give me detention. I want to spend more time with Leah. It's okay. I'll be back. <laughs> I almost failed and I'm glad I got it right. Yay! You guys did such a good job. Otsu! 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 Since we have no detention, that means we can take it back to the chatting screen. It'd be funny if I gave you guys detention anyway. It would be funny if I did that. <laughs> but I won't. We get a backwards cookie as a present. Um, I think I'll make you guys some Yorkshire pudding instead. How about that? Does that sound okay? Uh, backwards cookie. I don't have any cookies here. But I do have, uh, pudding. Hey, Leah, as a scientist of chef, I agree with these recipes. Thank you, Malice and Taxes. See, I told you, I had some points. Leah, my notes are three pages long. Well, you took some good notes. You're only chan teacher, but mom doesn't believe in you. What do I do? Tell your mom she's wrong. <laughs> so, you guys, you guys learned a lot, right? For those of you guys that took notes, please make sure you submit them with Rink Start. I'll be uh, grading them tonight. So you, you will receive your grades for your notes uh, in due time. And for those of you that do not pass, um, I will have punishment for you. So do not even worry. What do I do if the sea monster PEMDAS is at the door and I'm making hand turkey? Uh, well, forfeit your hands to the, to the sea monster. Because uh, if you don't please the sea monster, then PEMDAS will be destroyed. Leah's streams are always very educational. I am a teacher, doctor, of chef, and many other things. I will try to submit them through Twitter. Very good, very good. I believe that is uh, all the lesson that I had prepared for you guys today. Short little lesson, but you guys did amazing. So that's why I was able to go through it a lot faster. Love class with Professor Leah. I love being able to teach you uh, all the important things from uh, my home planet. Mom said that the sea monster looks a certain kind of octopus the most. Uh, no, that's not true. Uh, your mom is wrong. We have homework today. Uh, no homework, no homework. Uh, but make sure that you are ready for the next lesson. Uh, the next lesson will be next week. I'm gonna try to make these weekly lessons so that you guys have everything ready. Ah, uh, yes. Weekly lessons with Dr. Chef Leah. Is there a specific time you want us to submit the note? Uh, as long as it is in by the end of the week, it will be okay. So you guys can watch the VOD and submit it and things will be okay. What are your opinions on PEMDAS? Uh, I'm really sad it's gone because it took the gorillas with it. I, I, miss, I miss PEMDAS. I want to be able to walk to Australia. Can I eat the monster of PEMDAS? No. What's the topic of next week's lesson? Math! Next week's lesson is math. And we're going to have a very special guest. Guest teacher helping us with math. We have a history lesson about gorillas. I already gave a history lesson about gorillas. What? What are you talking about? Go watch the VOD. I already gave it. Was your planet attacked by the Borg? No. So Zeta Epic, shut up. <laughs> I, I'm jesting, flakes. Don't bring show up in my chat again. Yes, uh, next week, lesson is math. And, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow's stream. I always have to keep checking my schedule. Is. <gasps> tomorrow's Resident Evil! Tomorrow we're playing Resident Evil! Oh my god. I'm so excited for that one. <laughs> so, yes, Resident Evil tomorrow! And I will see you, League Mates, uh, on the flip side, I guess. Yeah. Bro, new League Mates that are here? Uh, our closing is Otsulia. You guys know that? Uh, uh Otsu, Otsulia. So I'll say it now. Otsulia! Thank you so much for class today! Bye bye! Otsulia! <laughs> Pew 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 p